people on Reddit are needlessly hateful. Like they don't need to be hateful, but they want to do it because they like being hateful. They're, for some reason, one of the top posts is Lisa Simpson pointing at like um, a chalkboard in her classroom and you start reading the chalkboard and it is the complete ending to the Harry Potter game. And someone just put that up and I got halfway through and I went, oh my. God, and I'm just like, why? There, there is no point in that. There is like, this. ladies and gentlemen, it is Marco with two eyes. We're back on every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, seven AM on Spotify and four thirty PM on YouTube. I had a moment um, yesterday that could have been really, like, really embarrassing. Okay, or could have been like, uh, just bad. All right, yeah, <laughs> real bad. Um, and I, I, I was wondering. I'm, I'm thinking you've probably had this moment too, and I feel like a lot of people have had this moment before. Let's just say the random Google, right? You're on Google. You're obviously searching up anything and everything over time, of course. And then maybe someone asks to borrow your computer, and then they've clicked the to search something on Google, and then it just has a drop down of everything. Yeah, you with everything. Yes. And mate, sometimes it might even be really innocent. But next thing you know, let you could have been searching Pokemon cards. And then next thing you go, that that Pokemon looks kind of thick. That's hilarious. And then just go like thick Pokemon as a joke. You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, like and it's then, a whole brand new world. And then, you, <laughs> and then you just see a car drive past and you're like, monster trucks. And then next thing <laughs> you know, monster trucks. <laughs> thick monster trucks. Yeah. And just yeah. stupid things. Everyone has searched the most ridiculous stuff. And at a moment... Barbecue sauce on titties. <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> Why would you search that? <laughs> um, and I was showing someone at work, like a higher up, chat GPT, and he was oh. blown away. Like, literally... He's like, that's why your emails read so well now. <laughs> literally, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's like, this is, this is just ridiculous. This is next level. Oh, my God. But he didn't have an account, so he signed it on my account. Okay, right. And on ChatGPT, I didn't know this, but on the left left side column, it shows everything you've searched. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and thank God my recent searches were actually real tame. Like, it was just all emails. Yes, right, okay. Because I've searched some ridiculous shit, like, on chat, like, how to make a bomb, like, as a joke. Like, I just oh, want really? to say, oh, yeah, I don't really need to know. <laughs> no, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm, that is not admitting anything. No one come after me. It was just <laughs> out of curiosity, all right? I saw someone online say they know how to perfectly make like crack cocaine things like that so it just curiosity gets the cat but as i looked there was also um one thing uh, my girlfriend messaged me the other day like she messaged me in the morning and i was like um i said something stupid i can't remember what it was and she's like i would just for once love a lot like a nice romantic message from you in the morning oh so he's gone chat gp just went straight there (laughs) Copy, oh. copy and paste, and she's like, "I know you too well. I know for a fact that was ChatGPT because there was no spelling mistakes." And I'm like, "Yeah, got me." Yeah, why didn't you say? <laughs> I needed to add a couple. Well, of Yeah, you should have said like from a 13 year old boy, <laughs> and then it would have fixed it. Add some spelling mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Um. So all the messages were emails, and at the top was like morning message to girlfriend. So they laughed about that, right? Because there was two people, and they had a good chuckle about that. And I, my chuckle was more a chuckle of relief, as in like, oh, thank God, my history, that's tame. Yeah, that's fine. Compared to... You should see what it was last night. Yeah, <laughs> and, and if I go... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if I go on my search history and I think about it, I'm like, most of it's nothing bad. But if someone else was... A third party was looking at it, I would be like, that. no, it is bad. Like, this is... Yeah. Everyone searches... Or even, so yeah, know. even the classic just Facebook search. Yeah. Oh, and then perfect. it's someone that you've met on like a night out. I know you... Yeah, you've said in the past that you handed a chick there and you're like, oh, you've already looked me up on Facebook. That was so like, it's bad. stuff like I that. Though. that. <laughs> it's even with Instagram. Yep. Where you're just like, oh, who's that? And then like all of a sudden it's just like, dude, why are you like... And you're like, oh, fuck. Exactly. It could be in a relationship. You got all that and shit. Mate, people are curious. And what happens if you just search... So, like, I don't know, a girl or a guy that's... Maybe you shouldn't be looking at. Yeah. And the next thing you know, in your search history. Yeah, it's right up the top as well. Yeah. So it's like recently. Yeah. It's like, why, why are you, you looking at that person? Yeah. <laughs> I told you that I don't like that person. Why would you, what are you doing? Yeah, well, I went to the beach. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was say. Like some bullshit <laughs> story, isn't it? And it's like, that's just a load of shit. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Search history scares me. It is. But then I feel like 
It's such a um, double-edged sword because then if you clear your history, it's like, what are you hiding as well? Mm. And But you can't also get back to those links faster. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah, they're you can't. gone. You have to, you have that's to go why, that's, why, you, that's why you bookmark them. <laughs> no one never looks at the bookmarks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so well, not until up. now. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a great tip! Yeah. <laughs> you're going home to delete all your books. You just like go into like your laptop or your computer, and it's like, dude, why is there like more quite everything? But then it's like, how to please my woman? <laughs> how to bake cakes? <laughs> what can I do with the eggs? How many eggs can I fit in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Next day, how to please my woman while baking a cake? <laughs> yeah, with eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean Like cause Dude that's That's another thing Like I remember I bookmarked a few things And I just noticed My fucking search thing <laughs> It was just a tab After tab after And I was like This is too much <laughs> This is way too many tabs This, this is an overload that, Those type of people Piss me off Have you ever gone to um, I did this once With my dad's phone You know how If you I don't know on iPhone But on Samsung If you It just has button, like If you Are you talking you, about Like this Yes, exactly. So yeah, have, I hate when people don't close all that shit. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? So you'll have all your recent apps open. And they're all still going as well. You actually you haven't got now. Yes. Yeah, so if you don't close them all, it's taking up your battery. But some people like holding them up because they like to quickly just go back into Facebook, then maybe an Instagram feed. That all makes sense. My dad is not great with technology. Mate, I think he had 80 tabs. Oh, his phone would have been going so slow as well. Oh, man. And you know the other thing too? When you're going to delete all those tabs, you go, maybe there's something I don't want to look at. And I've done that many times. Yes. With like Especially te- with parents' phones. Exactly. But with his technology, I go, I'll just quickly tell him how to do it because I don't want to know. Yeah, that's I, fair. Now, do you know, with um, some people, I kind of go like, I don't want to think less of you if I saw something that I should It's better to not know. Exactly. It's I would just better to times not know. rather know. Yeah. I would 10 times rather not know. So. I'm with you on that. It's just like whatever you do when I'm not with you, that's you. Like that's 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 not like you do you, I'll do me. Yep. I don't need to know. If for whatever reason you wanted to tell me, cool. But if you want to also keep it to yourself and you maybe it's something that you do by yourself yeah. late at night, that's a okay as well. Fine. I'm not to judge. <laughs> <laughs> right, cuz can you imagine like get off to watching my little pony late at oh, night with your, your top off even worse like you go you, you go to your dad's phone and you got to remove some things and it's just <laughs> it's just like how to seduce your dog and you just like look out to old Barkley and you're like oh my god <laughs> 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 oh. you're not wrong though like, where's the just... line though cuz then you know how <sighs> there's like um some things you don't want to know about people because obviously it's in their own private life and if they're not hurting anybody, that's the main point. Correct. Like if they're not hurting you, um, but some things you can't unsee. If I saw that about my do- my dad, I, I, I would that, I would never be able to look at him the same. I think the scariest one would be like, imagine, hypothetically speaking here, we'll put out, a, we'll put out just a thing into the universe. Say uh, maybe your best mate didn't get along with their ex, their, their partner. Oh, Whatever yeah. they've just been doing them in, they've just had arguments. Like, anyways, their phone's just there. It's on the thing. You're like, oh, I'll just close the tabs for them, sort of thing. They're not in the room with me. They're just out in the garden. One of the tabs is like how to hide your wife's body, or hi- how to oh, hide your husband. Murder. Like, what are you doing that? To, like, you know what's? What, do you know what's more outlandish than you saying like, oh, hide hide this person's wife's body. You saying, oh, there's my friend's phone. I'll just get rid of all their tabs for them. <laughs> it's such True. a random thing. No, I'm just, that's why <laughs> I'm on the table. That's <laughs> like, oh, that's running out of the battery. I better, I better close them all. I'm while. concerned about people's <laughs> batteries, mate. The iPhone doesn't last long. <laughs> that's so funny. Imagine, ex- oh, yeah, what would you do? We'll go back to that in a sec. What would you do if you left the room and you just saw me hunched over your phone, closing your app? I'd be would pretty you be confused. Like, yeah, you would not. You would drive home today and you would not be able to accept the, uh, the me going. I was a, just trying to save your battery. It'd definitely be a topic that, like, I'd bring up. Like, I'd get home and be like, "Dude, what the fuck were you doing?" Yeah, like, oh, do you know? Do you know one thing that was bad that had that happen once? Oh, this was so bad. Now that I remember it. Um, and I was very lucky. I was very lucky. Went to a party and all these friends were around and I got, I got drunk. I got real drunk and I think it was absinthe, right? That'll do it to you. I did like five shots of absinthe. 
Five? Yeah, I was trying. I don't know why. I was trying to be. I think it's because I'm such a bad drinker. So you want to like just and then when like everyone's to that saw, point? Well, no, everyone saw me do a shot of absinthe and they're like, do you know how much is in that? And it didn't taste too bad. Like, and I, I got all the recognition of like, oh my God, oh, he just did one. And I was like, well, let's see if I can take it. And then it all hit real quick at once. I went, oh my God. You know when too much alcohol hits you real quick and you go, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, not it's have just done regret that. city. Man, so I had um, my phone unlocked. So I went to my phone and he went into, uh, you know, old school, if you had secret photos, you downloaded an app, like a photo vault yes. app. Yes. Yeah. He went to that app, went to go in when it didn't go. And I had a girlfriend at the time when, and people knew that we had like, Things. mate, like, Things, yeah. Just things. <laughs> things. For that folder. I don't know if it got joked around or maybe it just assumed, but there was in that folder. He got wrong password and on that it said, um, a reset code has been sent to your email. Use this code to get in. So he then got that email and went to go into... That's pretty sad. How crazy is that, though? It's crazy, but it's, like, sad that someone would want to do that. Now that I look back, I'm surprised they didn't throw hands. Like, that's pretty <laughs> fucked up. Like, exactly. that's, like, that's but, fucked bro, up in the you, like, you have there, no there idea what could have been in that. that you have no idea what could have been in that folder. I just wouldn't want it to look through someone else's shit, though. Like, but, but you know how we always talk about, like, oh, there's things you can mess up, but there's that yeah, extra step. Yeah, yes. Mate, going, first off... Go, well, trying Being, to get into it already is a bit sus, but then the fact that he like the, this person's then like switched the email to like their own email oh, man. for the code, like that's that's the line. Well, the line was actually trying to get into the folder. The line, that extra step was doing that, bro. So when um when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh my god. So he's I I will be fine if someone. We've had it many times before, especially through high school, where someone grabs your phone and they just write a stupid status or they send someone a, a message. Yeah. And sometimes, depending on the person who's done it, and depending on the status or message, you you, you could get pretty you could yeah. be pretty angry. But yeah, you oh, can you, blow yeah, a lot yeah, of them well, off. Sorry, yeah, you can go one or two ways. It, exactly. Um, so it, when, it really comes down to the person. I remember as well. I had that situation happen. It was Australia Day, Invasion Day, a couple of, a couple of years back, and I had some little fat lambs. Mm. I down them. I thought I was. I thought I was king shit. I thought I was good back in the day where I thought being drunk was like the best way to be around your mates because mm. everyone loves the Joker. And so yeah, did that. Passed out. Next thing I know is I wake. I'm. I've woken up to multiple statuses saying how much I love multiple different girls. <laughs> you have inboxed them. My pass. My lock. My lock has changed on my phone, <laughs> and I've also commented on everything. Everything and anything about Australia Day being like. It's a stupid <laughs> fucking day. It should be switched. And I'm just like, the fuck is that? Like, I've been asleep for maybe all of an hour. Like, the fuck have you guys done? <laughs> now, the man's got a dick drawn on him in permanent marker. There's Pavlova on his face. I was so proud of that He's one that I did. Do. Another mate's, a mate's nuts is on his head as well. <laughs> Just like, the fuck is going on? I was so proud. I think it was Australia Day where your phone was just quickly passed around to make a status each. Yeah. And I remember just, I was like, I'm not going to make a status. I'm going to go to one. Because a massive topic for some reason, so a a huge one is changing the... Change the date. Change the date for the Australia Day. Yes. And I remember there was so much controversy and like people arguing comments. So I just went on your profile, went to that section and went... I believe it should be Australia Day. It's just ridiculous. And I'll just put it there. Like, Let's see if he gets any hate messages. <laughs> so the thing that's weird, though, with Facebook, unlike an Instagram, though, is like when you get messages from people that aren't your friend, they go to like some weird place that I don't even really know how to get to. I do. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if I have any random weird messages from people that I just don't know. Yeah. I'll, um... Is it like message requests or something like that? Because I don't know on Instagram how to get them up. But like all yeah. the ones on our Instagram are just like, manufacturers from like all over the world being like, Hey, we want to collab with you. Hey. Yeah. You get message requests in there on Facebook, but most of them, the reason they've introduced that is because there's been too many bot accounts, um, creating too many group chats where they're sending their, um, cam girl links. Okay. There's a ridiculous amount. So I've gone in there before and it's just, Group chat, group chat, group chat, group chat, group oh, chat. And I'm like, hell. I don't even know any of these people. And it's just a link to it's some the, girls. Actually, the scary thing as well with Facebook is, mm. have you ever gone to Facebook and it might be amazing and it says, 
So they've got their friend count, but then we'll have followers as well. Have you seen that on Facebook before? No. Dude, I went to it. I had like fucking like four chicks from like some some African <laughs> like descent yeah. following me and like then like a ton of like Indians. And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Like it's kind of fucking creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. Well, I think they play the long game. They're like usually bot accounts. Shouldn't yeah, they I, be? Oh, I would think so. But um, oh yeah. Anyway, the um, so what happened was with the when yeah, I the saw friend, that, yes. I no, I saw the email. I saw the email where it's like change your passcode, and did you just hit the quickly like this was not me? No, I think I gr- I think I went up to him and I was like, be completely honest with me. I hadn't even looked in the um folder yet. Yeah, right. And I was like, be completely honest with me now. Did you have a look in there? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't. I was like, be completely honest with me. Did you have That's a look in there? St- and he's like, no, nah, no, nah, like honestly, seriously, like no, nah, I, I, did, I didn't go in. I'm like, but well, you've took all these steps. Like, You may as well have looked. Like, yeah. You know, like- Pussy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I went in and. Um, oh, shit. No, nah, they weren't in there. So I was like, fuck. All right. he, I, was, I was like, imagine if he like sent them. Oh, true. Himself or... Yeah, then done like the next step again. Mm. We knew someone who went like crazy next step. Yeah, we... That's still fucked to know that that even took place. Recording your friends having sex, yeah. Yeah. Fucking God. I just like... How would you react? Oh, not happy. Yeah. Not happy at all if that not, happened to me. Not happy. <laughs> not happy. Yeah. It's just, what are you doing though? Okay, we're best like, mates. in the sense of like, they're like... That mate invited him around to stay the night. Deliberately. So, like... So we could, yeah. Just but no, but okay, up. we're best mates, right? Yeah. We're absolute best mates. How would you handle it if I got you to stay over here and I tried to film you having sex? Like, you you found the phone and it said, like, recording eight hours. Oh, it'd be a, it'd be a sit-down conversation. There's no way... Like, I don't think you'd be able to have a sit-down like, conversation with me about that. I'd just I, be think, holding, I think you'd I'd be, be in your room holding your head like, what do I even do in this <laughs> scenario? <laughs> you delete everything straight away. Yeah. And all that. Maybe maybe smash the sim. I don't know. <laughs> smash it to your own <laughs> video. <laughs> oh, you mean you know, like, physically like, yeah, smash like it? Destroy, <laughs> maybe break your phone. <laughs> it's just like, who does that? In what world is that even okay? I don't know. Surely there should be there can be charges against that. Oh, I would have to think so. Were we you minors didn't give at the consent. time? No, we had our licenses, didn't we? I think we were just 18. Oh, lucky. The guy filming it, though, would have been... He, cause he was a year younger. Oh. So he would have been 17. <laughs> so technically considered a minor. <laughs> filming adults. Yeah. yeah. It's just fucked to do, though. It is fucked. Like, that'd be like me coming in here. Like, me on purposely, like, leaving the, the clips... The clips phone behind, setting it just behind like one of these in hopes that like you and your girlfriend were doing something on the couch. It's so weird. And then like I just come back, maybe you're like, oh man, I'm just gonna throw on a Morikai team. Like, yep, no worries. Just <laughs> like, that's fucked. It is so fucked. That's so incredibly fucked. But then I wonder also, how many times has this happened to other people that we're not even aware about? Mm. That's the thing, isn't it? Unless someone gets caught. You'd they're never fucking going. know. And also, you know those shows um, where they're catching pedophiles? Yes. Um, a lot of them now, they take it into their own hands. Like, it's just your classic YouTuber doing it. It's not like your old Chris Hansen where it was set up. Because I think a couple of people killed themselves and then there's all legal trouble behind that. But um, it, with those, uh, many, many times, they've caught the same person twice. Oh, that's fucked. Many times. That's so far. Some people just can't help it. They just, that's what they Isn't want. That like some, that people re- that- some people have a massive wake up call and they never do it again. But some people are just. Wasn't there that guy that was on YouTube? He was like a pretty big YouTuber and he like had like some like fan meetup with like some like six year old chick or some shit. Six? Six or maybe like 12. I, don't, I can't remember the age exactly, but like it was a minor or something. Take a Razor scooter there. Well, well, so, <laughs> how'd she get there? And, um,. <laughs> I just remember then, like, yeah, like, all these, like, adult men pulled up on him. They're like, mate, what are you doing? I did see one guy called um, EDP450 or something along those lines. I forget his name. But he was a he was a really fat guy. Like, he was a YouTuber. Um, and he tried to meet up with, like, a 14 or 15-year-old girl. Um, and he brought her, like, a cupcake. And I'm like, bro, I can't make this up. This guy's, like, bought a cupcake for a child to try. Oh, just... <laughs> 
Man, some people are so fucking. Oh, that's you know I'll end it because this is like it's not. Oh, it is dark. Um, Reddit, because I've taken off every other social media. <laughs> I need to. I need to now take off Reddit. I really. Oh wow. No, I need to delete it now. I need to. I need. This needs to be the moment. I need to make it so my computer is just where I go on the internet. Um, because I went on Reddit, and you know how I've been trying to. Go- You're on like a dark form. No, not dark, but there we go. It's gone. Um, on TikTok, if there's something that has nudity or something that's too violent, it's gone. Like somehow yes. TikTok, TikTok's algorithm is insane in general, so they have a way to combat that. Filter through. The only thing they don't filter, which is sometimes a bit of a shock when you went through it, was um, breastfeeding. I didn't even know that. Oh, I had that happen multiple times. What what is this? And then all the comments. (laughs) That's a niche. That's a niche for you. And all the comments would just be like um, that uh, emoji of a blind man, like TikTok. (laughs) And it's just like caption TikTok and then just five blind men just walking. (laughs) Um, Anyway, so Reddit has videos of people getting hit by cars, um, fights where there is machetes involved, weapons. Not only that, I went to like, Fights. And mate, they just kept getting like Worse and violent, more. more violent, people yeah, actually right. dying. Like some of them I'm yeah, like, Yeah, that's oh. the point where it's like, yeah, I don't want to be on this anymore. I, then I saw one where someone um he got in his car and drove through like five people and the five people went flying, like higher than my roof, flying, like and died. And I'm going through too many. And I'm like, nah, this is so fucking dark. But because that was my last social outlet on my phone, I was on there at night to like for like three hours because it was like a new, um, it was darker. So it got my interest. I'm like, oh my God, what's next? And then, man, some of the fights I saw, like, I, I tried correcting it, but I couldn't. I was watching fights where constantly the bully was the winner. Oh. Like in American schools. Oh. And I was getting so upset. I watched this <laughs> massive guy, like this um, African-American uh, teenager, taller than both me and you, ragdoll this kid that would have been like, his size would have been that of a 12-year-old. Yeah, right. And things like that. And I'm just getting more and more upset. I'm like, and I tried searching like bully Bully gets beat up and things, things along those lines. And I couldn't find... <laughs> Just I found, better yourself. Mate, I found more videos of bullies beating the shit out of innocent kids. And it just got me so upset. And it also made me go, our lives are so good, even if we lost our jobs tomorrow. Correct. Our lives are so... Man, in fucking like place like America or like Brazil where they're fighting with machetes and shit, I'm like, what the fuck is this world? Yeah. What the fuck is it? Like, there is so much... There is... And I'm just talking about like getting bullied. There's so much darker things going on out there, and we are so incredibly safe compared to other people. And I'm like, fucking hell! But it was so depressing. I couldn't imagine that, man. Reddit's, I only saw, Reddit's a bit of a. I only saw a couple of good videos, and one was I Reddit, Reddit's I, a great place, but it's also a horrible. Like, no, nah, no, nah, Reddit's horrible because <laughs> I, I, they Reddit, there is a. I'll finish with this. They just people on Reddit are needlessly hateful. Like, they don't need to be hateful, but they want to do it because they like being hateful. They're, for some reason, one of the top posts is Lisa Simpson pointing at, like, um, a chalkboard in her classroom, and you start reading the chalkboard, and it is the complete ending to the Harry Potter game. And <laughs> someone just put that up, and I got halfway through it, and I went, oh, my fucking God. And I'm just like, why? There, there is no point in that. There is, like, this. Oh, I love, I love, I love the fact that you got halfway before you're like, oh, hang on a second. Yeah, oh, man. So now I know. Oh, in saying that, fuck, because you haven't had TikTok. That must be a good in the sense, like, you had no idea. So going into Ant-Man, like, you wouldn't have had any idea what the fuck happened. Nah. No, nah, I didn't watch the trailer. So spoilers-wise, it's been great. But you know what pisses me off? Things like um, when I watched the Volkanovsky versus Islam fight, I would love going on TikTok and seeing a few people's takes, like Charles Sonnen, Joe Rogan. Oh, okay, right. Because yeah. I get to see his take, but I didn't have to sit through two hours of Joe Rogan watching the entire fights. Ah, uh, true. So I'm getting that the, mini cap like yeah, highlights. Sort I'm of getting the updates I want. 
Uh, but then, then again, yeah. So it's bloody uh, yeah. It's hard, man. You just find it. I just got it. But I keep um, my computer is my social media. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so perfect. But I don't go on TikTok on the computer because it's fucking. I wouldn't sh- want to on a computer shit compared I feel like to like. Um, yeah, it's not as fun. It's not as fun. Even Instagram on a computer is fucking weird. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either on the computer. Look, I think it's good to search profiles on the computer. Yep. But actually, like, going through, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Mm. Uh, anyway, guys, that was my recovery, too. I always thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Boom. Boom.